Hey everybody and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. Many of you here getting back to work on this Tuesday morning. A cold front passing through after a day yesterday that was a little on the hot side. We made low 90s in the Tri-Cities. It was 101 yesterday in Imperial. It's 57 there right now so it's been a big drop since yesterday's high. Anyway that front passing through with a little fanfare. It's, uh, the winds are fairly light around the front. They are going to pick up speed though behind that front today out of the north and the northeast. We'll have a few passing clouds from time to time. Uh, not expecting precipitation with that though. A few models are hinting at it now but I just don't expect that here so I don't think that'll happen. But uh, I expect a mostly sunny day. Those winds will calm down tonight as the uh, skies remain clear. Maybe some fog out west, but otherwise clear skies. Uh, cool night ahead of us tonight. Then tomorrow, not too bad of a day out there. Lots of sunshine and not overly warm. Unless you go way out to the west, close to that warm front in the panhandle. And that warm front's going to traverse east across the state Wednesday night. And that's going to lead to some heat building back in by Thursday, but no precipitation expected. So, and in fact, one thing I want to show you real quick here before we move on, the other thing about that warm front, you look to the northwest there, that low pressure just above our local four icon, a quickly quick cold front dragging right behind that warm front, so the heat isn't going to last long on Thursday. We'll cool it right back down by Friday. All right, now on to the uh, forecast for today. Upper 70s and lower to mid 80s for highs for most of us, perhaps upper 80s in the far southeast. So uh, a cooler day, a Pretty close to an average day for early September, for September 3rd there. But tonight, down in the 50s, what you think, oh, that's pretty cool. Well, our average lows are now in the mid to upper 50s. So this is actually a little closer to what you would expect for this time of the year. And as we get into tomorrow, pretty pleasant for most of us. Not as much wind, still lots of sun, upper 70s and lower 80s. Out west, mid 80s. And then uh, the far west, upper 80s and lower 90s. Some of that heat is going to build eastward. In fact, tomorrow night... A warmer night ahead as that warm front moves across the state. We'll stay in the 60s for lows. And then uh, tomorrow, or th excuse me, Thursday, that's when we feel that heat return to the area. Upper 80s and low to mid 90s. But thankfully, it's not going to last very long again. Another cold front's going to swing through Thursday night, and that's going to cool us back for Friday. So with that, we've kind of covered the next three days, and it's mostly about the temperatures because there's not much to talk about precipitation-wise. Maybe a few clouds from time to time the next couple of days. Beyond Thursday, well, Friday's the cool, uh, cooler days. We're back down to the lower 80s, our average high, mostly sunny skies. Friday night, perhaps late night after midnight, there is still a small chance of rain. I took it out of the forecast for the Tri-Cities. It'd be close, but I think the better chance will stay just to our west and northwest. Uh, still, a few, There could be a few showers around this weekend, especially on Saturday. This looks very hit or miss, does not look like much at this point. I think this would be a very light rain if we see anything this weekend. Uh, still fairly warm Saturday, upper 70s. I brought that temperature up a little bit from the previous forecast, uh, as we're probably going to see at least some sunshine mixed in with that chance of rain. A little cooler yet, though, Sunday. And then it looks like towards Sunday night into Monday, a, another warm front's going to lift through. And that's going to heat us back up on Monday. But it's another one of those deals just like Thursday where the heat's temporary and I think we'll drop right back down by Tuesday. Uh, but with a little more heat and instability and with a cold front that may actually bring us some precipitation, I threw in a chance there. I think Tuesday night would be our best chance. And this is where we'd have a, maybe a little bit better chance of picking up some pockets of heavier rainfall. But at least the next four days we're going to continue to dry things out. And like I said, even Saturday and Sunday, I don't think we have a threat for some heavy rainfall. Beyond this uh, forecast, as we look at the uh, next 10 days ahead, like I said, I think after Monday we cool it right back down. Now Monday I went 85. The National Weather Service is going 81. I think it'll be warmer than that. Some models are hinting, hinting at us getting back close to 90 again on uh, Monday, so we'll see. But uh, of course, by this point, we're starting to push towards the middle of September already. Now, I have had a couple of people ask me already about What's this I'm hearing about an early freeze coming in from mid-September? I am seeing nothing like that in the forecast at all. Um, while we will cool down a little bit, we are not looking at temperatures down in the 30s for lows in mid-September. There's nothing showing up in the long-term forecast models that would indicate that at this point here. So yeah, while I would say most of our days average out below average with a few above average days here and there, we're not looking at any major significant drops in temperatures over the next uh, two weeks the way it looks right now so with that i'll let you all go thank you all for watching i appreciate it until next time i'll see you all again on your wednesday take care enjoy your day and god bless bye